Okay. I, I actually forgot that's in the pool. Yeah, me too. Because against Tinker, Clockwork is one of the best heroes early on, at least. Uh, just scout out, scout out if they have any stacks for the Gyrocopter. He wants to see what the Ogre is doing, because the Ogre is actually playing a very defensive support in the bottom lane. He's not really zoning out the Beastmaster. He's not really harassing mid, so he's going to go what he's up to. That Maledict is out. Fenrir, Crash trapped inside at the moment. Two points at the battery. It's also a lot of damage from Kanda. He'll get the kill and probably sacrifice his own life. Six six charges are available. He's trying to deny himself up. Doesn't work, however. The Salad does not allow. Yep, that Observer Ward does not quite see Lanum, though. He is just out of range of that Observer Ward for the top left. Oh, here comes Clockwork, the aggressive blink forward. Lanum's gonna try to do something about it with the cape, but here comes the Cog Trap with the Battery Assault. It's all connecting into Ori. SCC did the Priest Wave turned and attacked him. He grabbed the aggro, so eventually stunned him up, blocked him up with the Cog. He knew something was awry because Lanum was going to the ready to Observer Ward. He needs a little bit more damage. Lanum is just so darn tanky. But 800 HP, the raindrops were protecting him, but he's in the middle of nowhere. You'll lose the Tinker in the meantime, Paparazzi. He's gonna try and get a little bit of revenge on the SCCC. This is a huge kill if he can claim it. The bugs are on him. We can blink away. As well as having the one charge as we go back with the Undying, running around the Hellbear Smash as Bakaka. It's wonderful. Yep, he he's gonna be vulnerable for a very long time. This is the hero that you want to keep down because oh. top lane. KP, get over the river, try and put out the fire. And he will be back to safety. You want the clockwork to be able to kill the Tinker as long as possible. And god, oh, they're gonna keep doing it again. You wanted it, you got it. Yeah, this is this, this is gonna be really hard for the Tinker to come back from, I think. How do you do it? Like you just push him into the safe lane? Do you bring the weeds? VG Gaming were backing up, because they're farming up the angels, they're farming up the camps. Now Kaka is gonna try and do something about that. He'll battery assault, young eleven's got the run. Cogs are up, there goes your roar out. SCCC still playing, he's got Sonic Wave available, he picked it out! Claims it's a green wave on the side, but at least it's a shrine, keeping young eleven alive until the secondary burst. SCCC with a double kill, the turn to Ori. Why is he here as well? He wants to be part of a paparazzi, you have to clean up, you have to make this work. Right now, one space, but SCC's killing off all of his friends. The friendless BG, they want to fight the Tucker He's there, but stand up and brought down the Ultra Kill. SCC, welcome back to the upper crust. The neutral creep will deny our faith as well. Good man, as Moogie was close to completing it before the fight. Now he has it done with Phaedrus, with Aquila, with Magic One, and Fenrir picked up on the top lane. The supports are going to be so far behind in level. Paparazzi wants something, but he couldn't even hit with a swarm. So KP starts the TP, knows Pap. At least he got Dyer's some of the angel stack, it looks like. Oh, Young Eleven just walked out into the creep wave. You want to farm it. SCC's TPing into the tier one tower. They blow the end of the missile. There is no way Young Eleven will escape from this. So much. Not even that great. Tinker is like mediocre. Drop a tombstone at, at deeper point. in the base. Uh, yeah, it's uh, well, lasso. It's up and running and undying. Again, one of these supports that shy of level 6, not that his level 6 will help him, but bold enough to farm it. So they put down an Observer and Sentry VG to at least maintain some level of vision, but they'll say goodbye. That hook shot over. Fenrir trying to actually counter it, but it's just too much damage. The roar from Young 11, Clockwork, maybe? Okay, it will be enough. It's a one for one trade off. At this point, VG is going to be happy with that. If they can pick up a couple of the retreating heroes, this will also work. Fate. Decent amount of armor on him. SEC is trying to get rid of the bug. He's doing a pretty damn good job as well. Notice how Paparazzi is at every single one of his fights, too. If he's off farming, Young Eleven. Radiance bottom he's got the level one Necro attack. book completed at the moment. Town's taking a decent amount of damage. Rocket. And gets the vision. Young Eleven. Lock him in. Kill him off. Not even going to use the clock. That would restrict Newbie's movement. Mookie and Ryan he's at the same time. 16 11. Mark the official time for the clock. Until KP kills the paparazzi, which is that one. Great last time. And you can see, you can miss the magical damage. Always feels like awesome. there's, there's, four, there's four heroes inside the pit from Newbie. They're trying to kill off Roshan before BG can respond. Fade was doing the deep water. Revealed people are coming in. The roar is on the ogre. Flame Break tries to create space. Damn, that ogre is tanky. Roshan's not dying fast enough. The Master Machines are down. KP keeps the fire drive down. And now maybe with the fall down. It's all down. BG losing so much. But at the same time, they still haven't done the objective. Roshan did so much work for BG. All this early damage. Paparazzi can now capitalize, killing off Moogie. He's down for 51 seconds, and now it's up to Newbie to defend the Roshan. They put so many resources into this, it's not working. He tinkers his TP back, and now they even find KP. The TP won't be in time. The mana burns that allows 
BG Games can get more and more as he's easy in the name point. Does he jump? Roshan, 200 HP. Faith comes in. The Venture Wars down. Roshan's down. He looks for the snatch. It won't happen. SCCD, where is that damage? Doesn't have Sonic Wave. Only has Scream. Lanaman's low, but now he has to blink away. The Mask Machine is going to get that initiation. Lincoln Sphere is at least done on the Queen of Pain. But the momentum for a Quap is lost. They smoke up. Lanham, hook shot onto him. And he's bringing him down. TP's coming in from SCCD. And the lasso. KP trying to drag him into four. Right now, the paralyzing cast is making it difficult for Newbie to move around. But the cooldown's done some difficult work. The paparazzi, the time lunch, he bails out of it. So it's a two for two trade off. There's support and cause. Man, like. You Radiant's had this clockwork who was so strong relative to the Tinker, and now he's like really far behind. He can't catch the Tinker. You want the clockwork to be able to match the Tinker and items. Because he's always going to be an item ahead, I would say, because the Tinker is going to wrap around. Oh, shot, they find the target. It was meant to be the Weaver in through the rear, but now it's all newbie. They push forward. BG can't escape the bunny through their own tombstone. At least Ari with the laser pushing a couple of problems with the tombstones down. Fenrir triggers the ulti, but he cannot channel it forever. He'll end up ticking down to the flame break. Three euros lost from BG. Kaka will pop to the Maledict. No, he's actually being the, the sustain for newbie. Yep, just absorb as much as possible. Oh, he's master. The roar is out. The Necrobook instantly triggered. Hooked up the force out the bell from Kaka. And here comes KP to the front lines. The call down. They hook shot one. In fact, the clock. They catch a three of BG. They'll all be ignited up. Mugen gains some good damage. But missing up hill a little bit as well. Ari barely surviving. And death block paralyzing cast from Fenrir. Oh, boy. That's not what Newbie wanted. Multiple choke points that were fighting it. Now, VG Gaming on the hunt. Looking for more heroes who are currently trying up. So SCC is back up the full. He has Sonic Wave very closely. It sees everybody and newbie. They have no idea. VG have done the old wrap around. The target off. Jump forward. The war is on the KP. Face. He tanks up the hell of a lot. The corner. The movie is right. Look at Pepperazzi. No, he can't time left in time. Taco will miss the hook shot. But it may not matter. VG Gaming, how did they lose this fight? They had the vision, they had the high ground. Count for this as well. Wow, Quap is attacking ridiculously fast. <laughs> Almost has like a move charge with the, with the, with the, uh, with the Bloodlust. With the blood 40 attack speed. Yeah, the 40 attack speed. Oh, perfect catch on Fenrir. Kaka, this is one of the primary reasons they uh, fifth picked the clockwork. They wanted to have this long range initiation to work. Mainly against the Tink, but it's working against everyone that the that the clockwork would have had this game. They you were first because he was the fifth band? Yeah, because so there's a few. Oh, there's a vision oh. for the moment. The last one is down. It's trouble. It's real trouble for Paparazzi. He's be out of time left. Yes! Just gets it off. They want to keep the chase going. SEC needs more in the bank. He's got a, a silence available in three seconds' time. The sticky napalm is holding him down too. And they trigger the Lincoln Spear. The TP begins, but cancelled by Fate and KP. Well played indeed. One more attack. And SCCC is beyond. The more tanky item than the PKB yeah. in order to actually not always have to use your time lapse after the flag came in. And he's going to panic on Boogie, so. You have trouble doing the damage, and then he's going to regenerate it up as well. Here goes your tier 3 tower, large amount of damage early on. And Nubi, they want this fight, they're ready to go. KP into the fine line, the rock is giving him deeper vision. Marsh Machine's making it difficult for KP to inch closer, but while BG refused to take this fight with Paparazzi down, it allows Nubi to get hard to save out of your support. And he gets hard count, or his tombstone gets hard countered by the gyro. Right. That's why he went for a second one. Oh, here we go. The lasso once more. Oh, Tinker, right. he tried to be clever. And and right click like Quap is actually quite significant and can change. You know, you're kind, you're you're somewhat weak to BKBs, I would say. You're not like super weak because you generally just kite it. But if your team can't kite like you, then you know you can just trade right click with BKB. Yeah, was 100 percent that trouble was under. Oh, let's trade off. Paparazzi's trying to just stop and bring everybody back up to full. We'll have our 5v5. Batrider KP. He reveals the entire gang. Pushed on board. They walk down one of them. There won't be a tombstone apart from the death of the Undyne. That's the only thing that's pulled up. They clean up pretty quickly. But thanks to the cause, thanks to the call down, BG Gaming couldn't cross the river. We're basically playing a game of hot lava. Necro units get picked off, and newbie survive. I mean, if they really want to be safe, they can just wait till a pressure shot. First, it burns so early from Beastmaster. I don't think he really meant to pop that. They meant to hit the roll after Lincoln Spear was triggered, but now the Necro is just 
hovering around as he comes back in again. Wants to keep the rags low. Lincoln Spear. Now the hex can be triggered on that fatigue and they force off him indeed. But for that the call down. Tombstone to the ninth position. Mabuki. He just starts the damage. Bringing down the tombstone. He gets the undying. This is the consolation prize as well. The Vader is barely alive. Parker. A little bit too close to the front lines. The Glimmer came. Trying to keep him safe. But the detection available from the Necro units. They allowing have, him to kill them off. They have to kill this thing. The damage. Oh, do they? Do they? No, they're coming over. Roshan's not dead yet. He's at 2k life. Lamb triggers the ult. He's got the hex out. Finish Roshan. Next level just jumps into the middle. And actually, he's got to get the Aegis team off him. He'll die instantly. The refresh charge left behind. New BG Gaming. They committed so deep into the newbie line. It's just it near impossible. At least Tinker didn't die. That's, I still felt like we're going to have a rinse and repeat of before, but... <sighs> Well, the thing is the mid lane's open, so that just leaves open so many things. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just walk up the hill, and if it's daytime, it's a lot easier. Now it's about to be daytime, and it's just five seconds time, and you can easily see the trigger. KP, text up over on him, quickly lays it. And BKB coming on the courier up as delay, but then again, they get the blink last so A nice target to see it up, so there's nothing better it could really do about it. The top bet range track, as you can see, it's focusing on him. Remember, he's still got the Aegis in more, so he's in the back time. At the same time, you're running double cheese. Woo -hoo -hoo! Die back on Fenrir. The support life is not a happy one. As you see, quick blink out. There's your Hexes once again. It's onto the bat rider. KP is in a great position. If they can keep that chain hex going, Parker and KP in trouble. But more down there, but as you see, he goes in. He's already got the triple kill. Time lapse will make him work harder for it. He wants the Sonic Wave and bump. Okay, where it happened. Blink screen. Ultra kill off. Pepperazzi back inside the base, but GG is called. Newbie claimed game one. It took 44 minutes, uh, 40 minutes. You have 33k net worth advantage. Come rampage, paparazzi. He deserved it. He refuses. Refuses straight out right. He deserved it. That has to